guys, so I'm making longer videos. I know a lot of you missed the longer videos and the reason that we're going back to longer videos is I am healthy. So back when I was making those, sometimes I make the videos which are very like, I don't want to say they're bad, but I don't try extremely hard to make them. They're just me like putting a card and a playmat and then talking about it. Or screen matic is the easiest type of video to make. So if a lot of you want to do YouTubing, there's a program called screen matic and it doesn't cost any money. It captures your screen. It's in 1080p and you can make a video about it and you just do the audio over it and it's extremely uh, easy to do and it's easy to upload. When I upload this type of video, it takes a long time to upload. Like it could take like half a day. Like I'm not like I'm doing other stuff when I'm uploading it, so it's fine, but it still takes a long time to upload. But we're gonna make longer videos. We will be giving away. Um, so the contest is gonna end, but I think the contest is already ended by the time this video is posted, but the next Fat Pack contest will be Cons of, no, Dragons of Tarkir versus Cons of Tarkir versus Fate Reforged. And I'm gonna space it so that What's my call it? That you guys won't have like all these videos every single day about pack like contest pack openings. Instead, you have a video every other day or every three days, which will be a shorter video, and then you get these longer videos. I really do want to make longer videos um, because I don't know. A lot of times when I make shorter videos, they get really like cut it. They, you know, essentially it's a long video cut into many pieces across multiple days. But, you know, longer videos, uh, the new contest will be Fate Reforged versus, I don't know if I want to do Dragon Maze, a lot of you hate that set, but it's still my favorite set. My favorite set is still Dragon Maze. I have purchased so much of it that it's kind of mind-boggling. <laughs> and the reason I can purchase so much of it, because if I purchase 1k of Dragon Tarkir, I can purchase about the same amount, double the product for that same $1,000, because every store I know is like discounting it like crazy. But it's okay. Um, so we're going to do Fat Pack giveaway. We're going to do longer videos. Um, a lot of you have asked to see my dice collection. My dice collection is mainly at my storage, but I do have the recent dice and the recent sets. So I open a ton of pre-release kits. I, I mean, you guys should probably know that from the channel. And a lot of times I do so because I like, well, this time it's a little different. This time I've opened even more than I normally do uh, because and I open a ton of flat packs so I get all these dice that I don't really know what to do with so I just put, put that in a box in a container and then put it in storage once I have too much of it. I'm also going to make a token video. A lot of you want to know like where my tokens come from and how to get them. Those tokens are extremely relative. I mean they're extremely cheap. I buy them for like 40 cents a token and then you know the, the promo version so I'm positive you can buy those anime tokens a lot cheaper uh, if it's like a common and you buy like a ton of the common and they make perfect tokens. I also probably going to do another deck tech. I did change my deck and a lot of you have asked how my deck has done and it did well. I didn't, I didn't lose a game and a lot of you say oh your shop sucks blah blah. I mean, not everyone plays Magic to make money. Not everyone plays Magic to be a douche bag. Like, sometimes you play Magic because you want to play a Phoenix deck. And actually, I have a Dragon deck now, which is all dragons. And I have a really cool dragon combo, uh, which is, I get, what's it called? The Ataka, the original Ataka that gives double strike. And the Colagon, and then I, that's lethal, essentially. Uh, if you get one and then you drop the other one. Uh, very interesting. I think one's at six mana cost and one's at seven, so you just get lethal from that attack. Anyway, I'm going to be talking a little bit, uh, probably show you my new trade binder. I did get a ton of stuff. As I said in a previous video, uh, you get a lot of stuff from, I get a ton of stuff during the two weeks after a new set is released because I opened so much of the new set. I have play sets of all the commands, I have play sets of the Elder Dragons, I have play sets of whatever card is popular. I actually did get another play set of Narset. No foil Narset this time, but uh, the play set of Narset went in straight into a Mox, and I'll probably show you that Mox. Um, so that card was very, that was very good. 
and if without the Narsets, I don't think that trade would have made sense. Uh, when I mean, it would have made sense because I could have covered the cost, but a guy wouldn't have done it. Um, when you have a card and it's brand new, it's hyped. Meaning, even if the value is very high, there's plenty of people who just want to buy it, like essentially buy singles. And they're not going to open boxes, but they still want the card. Most of my store, we only play standard or draft. So even if you have like a mox or something, you're only thinking about, okay, well, I need to trade it in standard, or I want to trade into value that I can then trade into standard later. Um, and that's pretty, that's 95% of the two stores I go to are standard, and they only care about standard. Uh, they, they don't have modern events, they don't have legacy events, they don't have vintage events. So for someone with a mox, who used to play and then they're, look, they're trying to get into the community and play, uh, they just need standard cards and they need the most recent standard cards. So I traded um, multiple, yeah, maybe I'll talk about the uh, how I traded for a mox, um, but obviously I, want, I had to get my mox out so I can make one of those playmat videos I always make. Uh, anyway, um, one of, yeah, and I'm gonna talk about how to get like a cheap deck box and stuff like that because a lot of you uh, do want to know that uh, and I think it is important to know that you don't have to buy Magic Brand to have good tokens and good deck boxes. And then when I look at like some of these tokens that these Magic Brands are making, um, you have to purchase like from a Star City Games, you have to purchase from this and that. It's like, well, you know, the tokens, um, some of them are very cute and some of them I would use, but like I would never accumulate enough of them so I can make a Goblin deck or if, so I can play EDH and that's a big problem because I'm picky with my tokens, I essentially want all my tokens to match, I want them to look good, and that's a problem when you, know, you only get one token every time you order from Star City Games, or you get one token when you pay like five bucks to a Patreon. Patreon. I, I mean, how are you supposed to get like 20 or 25 or 50 of these tokens? Because <laughs> I'm playing supportlings. <laughs> In EDH right now, and it's so fun because you just make all. Oh, and it's that one. You that's one one Pegasus token that you put in. Um, that's the one card I always play. It's like you put in X amount of one one Pegasus flyers, where X is your life total, and the whole point of your deck is to like build up your life total. Yeah, how are you gonna have like a hundred Pegasus tokens? Like, where are you gonna get that from? Uh, without like breaking the bank, you're not gonna donate to Patreon. Five, you know, 100 times, right? So you can get your $5 token. I mean, or you're not going to buy from Star City Games 100 times. I guess you can buy the tokens individually, but they're still way overpriced, in my opinion, for what they are. Uh, my tokens are actually promos. Um, they are promos from a game that I'm very good at. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'll do that, and that's going to be what this week will be about. Bye, guys.